from that to that, and it raises up like that, and it's totally just spinning. Oh, it's flat, it's spinning, and then if you go in sideways to a wave and paddle onto it, like going right now, I'm going to try and cut. Yeah. You get this little bit of an edge per second, then all of a sudden it goes boom, straight out yeah, the back of the wave, bay. and you yeah. go, you go down the face. Wow. So then I think if you're really good, you can probably work out a way. You keep it in the wave. But how many so, times uh, do you surf it? Once? Uh, Usually, you yeah, these you only go once. But you know that it's impossible. Yeah. It wasn't like I could eventually get used to it. No. So what, you know, what made you go back now that when you do the deeper concaves and not go so deep? And what's the difference? Say that again. Like you, you're, 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 new, you're, new, <laughs> you're new board, you have a deep concave again. Yeah, why have we gone deep again? Yeah, and where do stuff. you stop well, when you don't go that there? That has a deck shape that is mimicking yeah. cross-section the bottom shape. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe yeah. we could get away yeah. with an inch concave, you know, the thing we talked about before. Yeah. Increase the concave, but decrease the deck roll. Yeah. To offset that, that doesn't do it at all. No. I mean, maybe because it is so distorted, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Basically, you could have that, you know, a quarter of an inch thick in the centre, and maybe you could have all the volume on the rail, and you get a, bit, a little bit more control. Yep. But it all comes down to also the alignment of these two pieces yeah. here. The direction. The first one I did, I'm pretty sure that's the second one. The first one, yeah. had these, these, those wings going yeah. down, but they were pointing outwards. And that was even worse. This is actually vaguely rideable, but the first one was completely unrideable. So I've got to realise I've got to take the things all the way. Yeah. So anyone that does pinless boards makes the same mistake. I don't think there's been one done like that because they all look like they're a normal plant shape and then let's drop down this wing. And that wing, if you see those things hanging down, yeah. if they're at the tail, that means they're, they're pointing outwards. At, when yeah. did you ever make a board with pins that point out? No, it's, it's okay. Impossible. Exactly, exactly. And you go around the corner there. Because, because of the plan so shape, yeah, yeah. So that's why we've towed in pins. Uh, yeah. That means those little van pins have to be towed in as well. Yeah, exactly. Which means the plan the shape. shape and the pins have got to be unified. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But that thing's... It only put that but um, <laughs> the reason why it's interesting is more obscure. Uh, it, it, well, we but that's the thing. I don't know if I'm not running it. Is there any general understanding of... So this is one of your shapes too? There's an absolute relationship, a geometric one, yeah. between plan between plan shape and rocker. Yeah. That thing I hinted at before. Yeah, it's like there. But um, it's hard to explain without getting it at all.